Blender Mayhem here with another video of, uh, it's been a while since we've uploaded a video. Uh, we've been having some computer problems and, you know, so on and so forth. But anyway, I'm recording from my phone, so sorry if it's not the, the best quality in the world. Anyway, we're going to get right into this project. Um, I got this repurposed motor. Um, I actually don't know what it came off of, uh, but I have it, so we're going to use it. It uh, has a really slow rotation, really good for what we need. Um, so we're going to get into this. So first of all, I'm going to take my drill. And I'm going to screw it to the board, like so. There's a little mounts right here. I'm just going to mount it to it. And I'm using self-tapping screws. Just so it makes it a little quicker. And I got the motor crooked. Good job, Matt. There we go. Okay, uh, that's good. So what I did was uh, the actual bar on this had a notch on it. So I just basically took a uh, ratchet head and stuck it on there. It's for uh, removing uh, spark plugs and stuff. Um, it fit on there. It's nice and tight. And what I did was I went and welded a bolt to the socket. So now it fits real nice and neat in there, like that. Um, that way it's removable if I need to take it off. It's kind of a neat little trick I figured out. So now what I'm going to do is I got this, um, this uh, end cap. It's for a 3 inch pipe, which I got here. Uh, so now I'm going to take my drill bit and I got a drill bit that's too fat. So I got a drill bit here. And we're going to have to drill a hole in there. on it. Okay. Now I'm going to take the, now as you can see, I got the bolt going through. I'm going to take the nut, place it on the inside, like so. So now it's a nice Good fit, and I'll go on like so. Now I'm going to take the PVC pipe. I'm going to take the actual. Uh, I took the other end, and it's got. See how it's got the screw on it. I did that on purpose so I could take this, and it's kind of like a lid, so I'll be able to take it on and off and put the uh, sand in there and rocks or whatever else I decide to put in. So that'll go in there like that. And that'll go like that. Now you're thinking, oh, that's awful floppy. What do we do? So what we're going to do is we're going to take casters. 
which is basically a wheel. See, see how that nicely comes off? I'm gonna take casters and put them here and here, like so. Back on there. Grab the camera. One. Now just hook the other one on. One. Two. So now you can see it's got the end cap on it like that and basically it'll sit on there like so and when I when it turns it'll spin on the wheels see you can just take the this and seal it up And there you have it. If you want, you can take it off. You just get a bunch of sand. And I this is just uh, lizard sand from like uh, for iguanas and stuff. It's pretty fine. So what? I'm just going to use that. in there. Just about any kind of sand will work, but the best is a really fine grade, which is what I got. From what I... Now, uh, you pretty much Put anything you want to put in there to polish? Hmm, what should we polish? How about this washer? We put the washers in there. Whatever you want. And then when you want, you just dump it out. But seal it up. And we're ready to go. Hook that up. And you're ready to polish. She's polishing away. It, don't, uh, the slower it goes, the better. And um, polishing usually takes quite a while. It's not something you can do in like an hour. This can depend on what you're polishing. If you're polishing like stones and stuff like that, it can take a couple weeks, but. The slow rotation is the best thing because it slowly rotates all the rocks and things. So if you like this video, like, subscribe, comment. Blender Mayhem, see you later. Haha, pretty good build. <laughs>